I'm James Wilder Jr. I come from Tampa Bay, Florida. My biggest motivation is my daughter, Nala Camille Wilder, Avertata, right here. She's been the biggest inspiration in my life because once she was born, it got to my head that, you know, I'm not doing it for me anymore. If I fail, I'm not failing just myself, you know, I'm failing my daughter. My job right now is working out. That's where my money will be coming in, me making money to put food on the table for her. So I have to take that serious. I started playing football when I was six years old. You know, I'm just another kid in a neighborhood where everybody played football because you know it's something to do, not really thinking about the next level yet. I fell in love with the sport, and I mean, I couldn't live without it, and I just, I've been banging since then. During my middle school years, my mom and dad separated, and um, me and my mom moved to Michigan. It was a pretty hard phase that uh, me and my mom had to go through. You know, we didn't have our own house. We lived in a basement with my auntie. It just made me work harder to make sure, you know, my mom don't have to go through any of those struggles anymore. We moved back to Tampa. Um, that's when I went to Chamberlain High School. It was a D school. I was succeeding at that school on and off the field, but not a lot of motivation to have in that type of area. You know, not a lot of colleges looked at a D school. We had a great team, a legendary coach, the most winning coach in Tampa, Florida. He talked to me and my mom, and he was like, I'll do anything to try to help you get into a better school where you can learn more academically and be in a better situation off the field as well. I transferred to Plant High School, A-plus school. Things have been going uphill since then. A lot of colleges came to check the school out. It was a big change for me. Not even being ranked at my first school, Chamberlain, because I wasn't getting looks. So soon I transferred to Plant before I played one play. I had schools coming at me for a linebacker. I had schools coming at me for running back. Still stayed hungry, you know. I had a job when I was at Plant, working at a restaurant, washing dishes in the back. And then I had to get another job at a convenience store to make sure we could pay those bills to make sure I could stay in a good school like that. The work ethic changed. It just all hit me like, wow, I mean, I have an opportunity to make it. I committed my junior year to Florida State. I stayed committed to that team. I started calling other guys, Timmy Jernigan, Calvin Benjamin, Devontae Freeman, and Carlos Williams. Like, hey man, let's come here and let's, let's make something happen here at Florida State. They all committed. Once they all committed, everything seemed to work out. You know, we won a national championship. My dad, he played for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, so every time I mention, you know, it's James Wilder Jr., the son of James Wilder, I already had a reputation that I had to live up to. People saying you're not as good as your dad. Um, the naysayers saying you can't play running back like your dad. You're not half as what your dad was. A lot of kids could flop off that pressure. I use it as motivation. I know I'm going to work hard. Um, everything that I can control, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to control. Make sure I stay calm and just do what I do, man. I'm a guy who loves to win and hate to lose. Nobody's gonna work me, push me harder to get where I need to be. 